What really fascinates me about cars is how much there is to be fascinated about cars. From the basic engine design to how the car actually starts to move. I was going across a few topics and I noticed one such fascinating topic which I wanted to share with you today. Alloy wheels. The word is so heavy, right? Well, I just wanted to tell you about alloy wheels and what exactly alloy wheels do for your car. Like I said before, alloy, it sounds like such a heavy word, right? The process of mixing two metals to form a new one. Well, it's actually quite contrary to your perception. Because alloy wheels, as you can see here, are actually lighter than the standard wheels that you get. So what it does is, to all the components that it's fixed to, the drum, the disc and the brakes, it makes the whole component system much lighter than the original one. And so, the suspension of your car also gets eased. When that happens, you're insured for a smooth ride. Many of you don't know this, but the heat that's generated in and around the tires also spread to the tires. And what happens there is, there's an increased amount of friction that's produced, which not only reduces the rubber content, but it also increases the fuel that you use. So if you look at the wheels, an alloy wheel always has a large amount of gap between the disc and the alloy itself. This gap is produced so that it has a large heat dissipation capacity. When it does that, it removes all the heat and so the friction reduces and also it gives better mileage for your car. This is why alloy wheels are much more advantageous than the normal standard wheels. A lot of you don't know this, the riding impact or the height of the bottom of the car to the ground is directly proportional to the size of the diameter of the tire. Now, the bigger the tire and the lower the riding height, the more smooth the ride will be. But this could or could not be the standard diameter of your tire. You have the option of changing the diameter of the tire. The larger the tire, the smoother the ride is. And the lower the riding profile, the smoother the ride is. So, what I would say is, leave it to the experts to determine what the size of the tire is. But, if you think you know it all, then please go ahead. Increase the size of the diameter. 